Well, this is what I'm going to roll with today. A bucket, a shovel, crest 21 inch, my shindy that, that everyone that's watched me for a minute knows this is my favorite trimmer. <clears throat> that one is a 262. Uh, the 700, a little bit of fuel. And that's uh, what we're going to roll with. Do a couple little commercial properties today. I don't want to take the trailer. Normally uh, we take the trailer and a 36 to do those, but they're small enough you can get rid of them with or get them done with 30. And <clears throat> one of the really good things that we like about this, you take the battery out. Guys, I'm, I'm just a couple months away from 53 and I can throw that thing in and out of the back of the truck all day without the batteries, the heavy part. And uh, those things cut great. So there we go. All right, guys, here we go. It's so normally on the weekends. I go out and do some uh, some of the commercial properties. But now that we're getting ready to go into sprinkler blowout season, this will be my last weekend of doing any kind of grass work. Um, so we start firing up the compressor and. Uh, Starting that whole process, I uh, usually do blowouts from you know the second week of October until usually about Thanksgiving. I'll call it good. Uh, by the time we get to Thanksgiving, we're we're usually getting cold enough at uh, at night that I don't do them after that. Since we guarantee our work against freeze damages so once we start getting hard freezes I don't uh, unless somebody signs something that says that we're not responsible for any breaks because stuff can get broken before we make it to the blowout uh, I won't do them after a hard freeze so anyway that's what's going on with us just do a little babble. This property I'm going to is it's a little bit out here, a little bit of a drive. Uh, it may be the only one I do today, and it may not even need to be done. I'm gonna when I'm there today, I'm gonna shut the water off. And uh, just in anticipation of the blowout. Uh, we'll go ahead and start shutting the water down for the season. And I'm not sure how loud my truck comes in. Or if you can hear it at all. I drive, uh, for my work truck, I drive the diesel. If you guys are getting any of that sun, sorry. Uh, I drive our diesel, which is a 05 F250 6.0. Power stroke. Uh, mainly I use this one because no one else can drive a clutch. But I like this truck, it has a ton of power. It's a fun little, little rig to drive. It's just a two wheel drive, so it sits low. Uh, I don't know, I don't mind it. So, anyway, we'll get out here and take a look at this property and see if we can't do us some mowing and some parking lot blow down test this 700 out and uh, we'll see where we're at for time we might roll by some other other commercials just to check the parking lots uh, might go back to that one and blow that one down uh, just to play with this thing I want to see how it does so anyway let's get out there I'm a winner. Rolling by the corner. 
Alright guys, so it's Sunday. Sorry the uh it's really windy right now. Um the footage of the VR seven hundred yesterday wasn't so good. I thought there'd be a lot more leaves in that parking lot. Um anyway, so I'm loaded up again today. Twenty one uh the trimmer, the seven hundred. I just drove by one of our commercial properties and it's a gym and it's always a challenge for the guys to get in there. It's a CrossFit gym, so they're out in the parking lot pretty often. And I just drove by, because I was coming over to the shop to make sure the schedules were right for tomorrow. And I noticed the gym was empty or closed or whatever. There's no one in the parking lot. So I threw the mower in here real quick, and we're going to go over there, and we're going to uh, knock that commercial out so they don't have to deal with it this week. And yeah let's see there might be something to blow down in the parking lot uh there might not i don't know all right so we're going to make some blowing attempt it's as you can see I'm probably here it's pretty windy but at least the wind is blowing this way so i'm gonna try to blow these beds out they got a lot of garbage in them i don't know if you guys noticed while i was mowing the uh I was mowing kind of funky over here. This grass got pretty tall, which the last time I tried to mow it, I, I tried to mow it with a navigator. And as you can tell, that angle, that is not navigator friendly. If you guys have been on a navigator before, I mean, that's, I don't know if that does it justice. So it's a pretty, pretty steep incline. But then I got over to this part. This is all, this is all flooded here. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and shut his water off for the year. Uh, we start our winterizations here in a couple of weeks, or next week, week after this. Next, so yeah, next week. Um, the, I think that eighth or ninth is my first blowout of October. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to blow some of this stuff out. So we'll see how this blowout goes. Uh, we're gonna have to get over here and start pruning trees and get those grasses down and or they're just gonna continually make a mess. So I think maybe that bed up there, I think that's actually weeds. By that these trees need these suckers pruned off. It looks like the crew, which I guess I guess I shouldn't blame the crew because I was here last time. So I did not walk up to this bed because this bed is still part of this parking lot which makes it our responsibility so let's let's pull those bad boys out these are for you guys that don't know these are tumbleweeds so we're gonna take them out and let them tumble I'm not going to do any tree pruning today. Pull that out. We'll just blow, blow all this garbage all the way across and get it out into that field and uh, call her a day.
was it the bestest of videos, I guess, to show off the VR700. The wind really helped with blowing this parking lot, though. Uh, it was blowing in the perfect direction from where I wanted to put all that garbage. Uh, this, uh, I love small commercials. I think that's, uh, I would rather do small commercial properties like this than residential or large properties any day of the week. This one just poses some challenges because of what it is and their hours of operation. Uh, being a CrossFit gym, they use the out, outside of their parking lot or building quite a bit. So it just creates issues. One thing I really like about this one though, I mean, we're literally two minutes up the street, same street my, our shop is on. Um, so that's good, I can, you know, like I said, I was driving by, I seen they didn't have anything going on today. So I was like, ooh, that'll, that'll save the guys some heartache. Come here, knock it out, be able to get a good blow down in the parking lot because normally there's a lot of cars there and you can't blow just wherever when you are got a lot of nicer cars around, I guess. Um, so anyway, just made it a whole lot easier with the place being totally shut down today. So I got in there, got it all mowed up. It was quite a bit taller than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I mowed it with the Navigator the last time, uh, until about a week and a half ago when I mowed it. Uh, which is another thing I really like about small commercial is there's a whole lot of flexibility going on with uh, what you can do, where you can, uh, you know, when you can mow it. You know, if you have to adjust it by a day, or two days, or whatever, you don't have to call and have them change everything. You know, I have control over everything. I go over and shut the water off and be like, all right, I'll, I'll get over it whenever. And there's no problem. As long as it's mowed, you know, as long as it stays presentable each week, there's no issues. And this one's really nice to work with because it's one of the, I think I only have a couple of businesses that actually put card on file for their invoicing. Uh, normally that's not a that's not a thing with businesses, but this one did, and it's working out really well. So anyway, guys, sorry, uh, as we get closer into fall, we'll have more stuff with these new blowers. I mean, like I said, the other new blower is just a BR600. Uh, but once we get some leaves on the ground, we'll be able to play with the 700, 600, the batteries. The battery blowers have a ton of power, ton of power. I'd say more power than these 600 or the 700. The challenge with the battery powered though is they eat a battery up fast. Uh, there was no way I could have done, I, I probably would have been at a minimum of a two battery job, <clears throat> excuse me, a two battery job that I just did. Uh, if I was using the uh, battery backpack blower, it, it just wouldn't have uh, been able to hack it. So, and with the mower, uh, that was one battery. I was mowing with the, you've got a high and low on the battery or a high and low on the uh, blade blade speed. I mowed with it on high. I took uh, probably about three inches of grass off of the, I'll see if I can zoom up one of the frames so you can see how tall the grass is. So I was cutting at a, I cut it out of two. Uh, some spots where it was wet, I did kick it up to two and a half, but I'm trying to get it knocked down because we're going into fall. Um, and I used, I think I used two bars, maybe one bar on the battery, and there's five bars on it. But anyway, there we go. Uh, I'll try to get better on uh, getting some more videos up. I've been pretty horrible about it, but it's been a crazy year, and we might have a talk about that at some point. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or any specific stuff you want to see on these mowers, I know I've had some questions on the 30s lately. I'll try to, I've answered them a little bit. Uh, I, we don't use 30s anymore. I don't even have them in the shop. I do still own them. They're in my storage unit. Uh, I'm going back and forth on whether I'm going to put them back in operation or whether we're just going to sell them. 
I'm leaning more towards sell them. But uh, anyway, we'll see what we're going to do. I've got some things going on for next year I'm thinking about, which if I do, I'll keep 30s and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or want to see anything specific, if I can do it, I will. Uh, just reach out and let me know. Thanks again. Later.